Okay, so this is our uh, first video for differential equations. <clears throat> so before we get to uh, talking about um, how good differential equations are, or why you would want to study them, uh, maybe we should start off with a few uh, definitions. So first off, what is a differential equation? Well, a DE is any expression that uses uh, an unknown function. Oh, my handwriting is terrible. Unknown function and its derivatives. So that's pretty general. So let's take a look at some examples. Examples. Uh, y prime of t is equal to 3t plus 5. That's a differential equation. And in fact, that's a kind of a differential equation that we looked at in calculus, right? And so uh, from this function, if we know that the derivative is 3t plus 5, then we also know how to solve it for y of t Right? y of t then would be 3 halves t squared plus 5t plus some arbitrary constant. Okay, some other examples perhaps that we don't have the solution for is something like y prime is equal to 3y or y prime is equal to minus x over y. Now I want to be really careful here. You'll notice that in this expression um, the t is left off, or the x is left off, the independent variable is left off, so independent variable is not explicitly given. So you'll want to decide on whether you want to use a t or an x and then stick to it, versus this case, here t is explicit, right? And so you'd want to use, go ahead and use t in this one. In this case, right, the derivative doesn't tell you which, what the variable is, but we do have an x there. And so um, you'd want to identify x as the independent variable. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do with these kinds of differential equations is to be sure and identify which variables are dependent and which ones are independent. So in this case, right, though, in both cases here, y is the independent variable. But uh, later on, we might be using x as an independent variable, so uh, you'll want to know that. Uh, so some more examples. You might have, uh, oh, y prime is equal to t minus y squared. Uh, in that case, oops. Uh, the independent variable is t, and the dependent variable is uh, y. And we might also have y prime equals uh, y minus t squared. And you might notice between these two differential equations, they look very similar. But as it turns out, one of these two is fairly easy and straightforward to solve, while the other one is very difficult to solve. I'll let you think about why that might be. Uh, by the way, remember what we mean by a solution to a differential equation. That's going to be a function that satisfies the differential equation like we did up here. We'll get into more of that in just a second. But I wanted to finish this by saying that there are functions of more than one variable. right? So uh, we could have something like u sub xt is equal to u sub x plus cosine of t. And in this case, right, you, the subscript is representing a partial derivative. And so this would be a partial differential equation where these are partial derivatives. And so we want to distinguish between partial differential equations and what, we might, what we're going to call, these are going to be ordinary differential equations. So when you see the word ordinary, that means that your function, your y of t, depends only on one variable. If you see the word partial differential equation, that means that your function 
uh, in this case u, is a function in this case of two variables. So the unknown function here, the unknown here is u of x and t, right? It's a function of two variables for this differential equation. So <clears throat> we should say right off the bat, we're not going to be studying partial differential equations. PDEs are looked at in math 467. That's the engineering math course. So we're just going to be sticking with ordinary differential equations in this class. Okay. Uh, but, you know, that doesn't mean that we can't look at uh, some solutions to a differential equation and s or look at differential equations and see if we can find a solution. So let's just look at an example here. Suppose I've got u sub xx plus u sub yy equals zero, and I tell you that uh, u of xy equals e to the 3y cosine of 3x might be a solution. Can we check that? How would we check that? <clears throat> well, first we need to uh, perform the operations that the differential equation is suggesting, right? So we could write u sub x for the partial derivative of this expression with respect to x. And so e to the 3y would be constant. And then cosine of 3x, we would have minus 3 sine of 3x. And then if we take the second partial derivative with respect to x, whoops, uh, there it goes. e to the 3y, again, is constant with respect to x. Then we just um, take the second derivative here. That's going to be minus 9 cosine of 3x. Right, so we could write that as minus 9 e to the 3y cosine of 3x. Good. And similarly, let's go ahead and write the partial derivative with respect to y. And so that's just going to be 3 e to the 3y cosine of 3x. And then u sub yy. We'll just drop down another 3. So it's 9 e to the 3y cosine of 3x. Good. And so now what happens when we take, oops, sorry about that, u sub xx plus u sub yy. Well, that's going to be minus 9 e to the 3y cosine of 3x coming from here, plus u sub yy now, which is 9 e to the 3y cosine of 3x. And that is indeed 0. So therefore, this function right here is a solution to that differential equation. Good. Uh, so now we know what it means for a function to be a solution to a differential equation. And we also have a little bit of vocabulary. A bit more vocabulary before we continue. And that would be uh, the order of the differential equation. And the order of the differential equation is the order of the highest derivative. So for example, uh, y double prime plus yy prime plus cosine of 3t equals 0. What is the order of that differential equation? Order is 2. Okay, what's the order of our partial differential equation? Uh, that would be second order because the the two different derivatives are uh, the second derivatives. Okay. And so the order again is the order of the highest derivative. Uh, finally, in this section, in the next section, I should say, we're going to be taking a look at something called the linear first order. DE. And a linear first order di differential equation is any differential equation of the form y prime of t plus p of t times y of t equals g of t. All right, so the p of t here and the g of t they can be arbitrary functions of time. Okay, so for example, if we were looking at y prime equals t minus y squared, is that first order? That's second order. 
it's also not going to be linear because of the square. But if we had y prime equals uh, t squared minus y, that one is going to be first order, and it's also linear. Okay. And in our next section, we're going to be taking a look at how to solve linear first order differential equations. So that's the that ends part one of our first set of lectures in class. Uh, I'll be right back with another set.